Well, it's not often I look at RTE News, that's Radio Television, and they had Mary McAleese on it tonight. Some crowd of women's groups in Dublin brought her down. She's the ex-president. She has several pensions out of this country, one for teaching in some university and all of that. And she's, um, she's uh, a senior citizen by now. She has a son who's gay and ha is married to another man. And I think they have kids and there's no problem there. So the question is, she's shouting on here, we need to about more diversity. She's shouting on about how the United Nations passed some motion. She's this, that and the other. Hell bent on enforcing this woke cultural Marxism uh, agenda. And no doubt all the baloney and lies about the renewable energy and all which you also get Mary Robinson, another former president, spouting out of her and all this, all this stuff about the need for diversity and mass, mass migration. Anyway, another man came on because RT probably have to balance the debate. He was McNamara. He's a, I think he's a TD. I don't know who he's for, McNamara. And um, he, he, he made the point that all the protections that, that is being claimed of this amendment into the Constitution is already there, that all of these groups are already fully protected. It looks to me like this is nothing only window dressing it's changing the signpost but it's a dangerous thing to do because we do not know how it's going to pan out you're talking about family law a highly difficult area you're talking about um, succession rights how wills are interpreted and as i've said that it's a complex area judges have to study it for years and solicitors have to study it and now we Im impose on them this and Mary McAleese would be better off, and RT would have been better off, if they had been asked, had asked her, what is the uh, is the referendum for? What does it propose to do? What are the pluses of it, and what are the negatives of it? And is it just to make put on a big show and window dress Ireland as the model boy and the model girl in the class? Is that is that what it is? She pushed the abortion as hard as she could. She pushed the abortion and the liberalisation of abortion as hard as she could. She's a nuisance around the place. They wheel her out to try and get the people more motivated. And hopefully, folks, there'll be a small turnout, I think, would we'll try and get everyone to vote and vote no. How can you vote yes to two amendments of the Constitution? when nobody has a, a monkey's notion what in the name of God it is proposing to, to achieve, what the problem is it's meant to fix, nobody knows anything. Why would you vote for something like that? It'll be a no, of course. Short video, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. As someone said, it's like voting for a pig in a poke. The safest thing is tell them, hump off and get them out of the way of these creeps of government and all the old apologists and silly women coming balloning about all this and they don't have a slightest clue what they're talking about. Needless to say, I'm available to discuss this, but before I can discuss it, I'd like Mary McAleese to come along and tell us what this uh, uh, amendment, these two amendments, are intended to achieve. What is the problem that exists and what this, how these are meant to fix it. Give me a thumbs up again. We'll see you back. 